So I got asked to do a series on how we make our propellers one day at a time. So here's day one. This prop's made out of mahogany. The very first thing I do is check all the boards for any defects, any knots, any cracks, anything like that that would make it non-airworthy. Um, the second thing I do is I put my pattern on top of the boards. I nail it down and then I trace it out. Uh, this particular prop is going to be four laminations, so I'll just do this exact same process with all four boards. Um, I just give myself a little bit of extra so that I have some wiggle room on the bandsaw. And this prop is going to be made of mahogany, but I also make them out of maple or birch or cherry. Um, I have to put on my safety glasses, <laughs> all snazzy, and my hearing protection. And then I just cut out each individual board along my template lines. The mahogany is a lot lighter than maple, um, so it's a lot nicer to work with on a prop this size. The maple boards get a little heavy, but one at a time, they're not too bad. I try to stay pretty close to the line that I drew on there. It's not a big deal to cut on the outside of that line, but I try really, really hard not to cut on the inside of the line. I have a little wiggle room, but um, if I cut too much, then I'm gonna cut into what will become the actual propeller. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the process. The bandsaw is one of my favorite machines to use. Once you get in the rhythm, it goes really fast. So after I cut them all out, I lay them all out in the order that I want them glued up and I write on there the numbers in the order that they're supposed to go. Um, the next thing I do is I sand them all down to get any little bit of dirt or particles or any burrs off the side. Make sure they're all nice and smooth and ready to glue up. I blow them all off with the air hose so that I have a nice clean surface to glue to. And I drill um, a little hole in the very center of every board and I'm going to use that um, to pin them together so that they stay in line with each other. And you'll see that more towards the end of the process. And to glue I use plastic weldwood resin and it is a powder water mix. And I just mix it together with the drill and it goes super fast. Had to get all my boards lined up. So I use the paint strainer from the automotive store just to make sure that I don't get any little chunks that didn't get stirred up so that my glue is nice and smooth.
And then that is a nifty little tool that I found on Amazon called a speedball roller. And it has been a lifesaver. I used to use a foam brush, um, but of course they absorb quite a bit of your glue and they usually rip about halfway through. So this one I just wash off after every use and it's been really, really handy. And this has about a fifth, the glue has a 15 minute setup time. So from the time I mix it, I have about 15 minutes to get the prop completely glued up. So for a larger prop like this, I think this one's on the, it's, it's mm, almost 90 inches. Um, it's kind of a challenge and mahogany um, really, really soaks up the glue. So I had to mix a couple different batches and there you can see how I pin them together with that little hole that I drilled earlier. And that's gonna keep them all in alignment for me. And then I just glue, I glue both sides and stack them up like that, um, one right after another, until I get all four ready. And then after they're all glued up, I drill a hole at the end to put a dowel rod through to kind of pin them together on each end so that they don't move on me when I put them in the press. And then I go ahead and take that centering pin out. I say a centering pin, but it's really just a coat hanger. <laughs> and then it goes into the press at about 80 PSI for 14 hours. And that is the end of day one.